Did you know that a simple arched metal building invented during World War II is still shaping our world today? From disaster relief shelters to modern homes and even designs for Mars, the story of the Quonset hut is a masterclass in brilliant, practical design. Let's dive into how this wartime necessity became an icon of resilience. The Quonset hut was born from a simple need. The U.S. Navy required buildings that could be shipped anywhere in the world and assembled quickly by soldiers with basic tools. Its curved, self-supporting arch design was genius. It required no complex framework, was incredibly strong, and could be put up in a matter of hours. These humble structures housed soldiers, served as hospitals, and protected equipment from typhoons to artillery blasts. But when the war ended, the Quonset hut didn't just disappear. It came home. Returning GIs and a massive housing shortage created the perfect opportunity. Suddenly, these metal arches were transformed into homes, shops, and community centers across America. People got creative, connecting multiple huts to create larger living spaces, proving that functional design could also be adaptable. This was one of the first large-scale experiments in prefabricated modular housing, and it forced architects to think differently about building homes quickly and affordably. The true genius of the Quonset hut, however, became most apparent when disaster struck. Its core principles, rapid deployment, durability, and simplicity, were exactly what humanitarian organizations needed. Modern Refugee Housing Units, or RHUs, used by the UN and other groups, are direct descendants of the Quonset. They use prefabricated panels, can be assembled by a small team without heavy machinery, and provide immediate, sturdy shelter for displaced families. Think about it. After a devastating hurricane, earthquake, or flood, time is the most critical factor. The ability to deploy a safe structure in just a few hours can literally save lives. The Quonset's design DNA is all over modern emergency response. Natural disasters also gave us a powerful, real-world stress test. After Hurricane Katrina in 2005, a striking pattern emerged. While traditional rectangular homes were flattened by the wind and storm surge, the few arched, Quonset-style buildings in the area often survived with minimal damage. Why? It's all about aerodynamics. A curved surface deflects wind instead of fighting it, distributing the pressure evenly across the structure. Flat walls catch the full force of the wind, making them far more likely to fail. This has led to a renewed interest in what's called aerodynamic architecture, all thanks to a lesson learned from a 1940s military design. This principle of resilience and efficiency hasn't gone unnoticed by the modern housing market. The tiny house and prefab home movements have fully embraced the arch. Companies today are manufacturing sleek, modern, Quonset-inspired homes. They might have floor-to-ceiling glass, advanced insulation, and all the modern comforts, but they retain that signature, super-strong arch. It's a perfect blend of style, cost-efficiency, and disaster-proof peace of mind. Of course, the military hasn't forgotten its own invention. Today's armed forces deploy advanced versions of the Quonset hut in conflict zones around the world. These modern variants use lightweight alloys and reinforced panels, but the fundamental idea of a prefabricated, easy-to-assemble arched shelter remains exactly the same. It just works, but the influence doesn't stop there. Civil engineers are studying how arched roofs and corrugated surfaces can make our permanent buildings more sustainable. These shapes promote natural airflow, reducing the need for heating and cooling, and they are inherently stronger, meaning they require fewer materials. From sports arenas to industrial warehouses, the quiet legacy of the Quonset hut is making our cities greener and more resilient. And here's where the story takes a truly out-of-this-world turn. When NASA and private space companies started designing habitats for Mars, what problems did they face? They needed structures that were lightweight for transport, easy for astronauts to assemble with limited tools, and strong enough to withstand the harsh Martian environment, including massive dust storms. Guess what design they landed on? Independently, they rediscovered the arch. 
the exact same principles that made the Quonset hut perfect for the battlefields of World War II make it the ideal solution for colonizing another planet. A direct line can be drawn from a Rhode Island warehouse in 1941 to the future of humanity on Mars. Ultimately, the Quonset Hut's story is a powerful reminder that the best solutions are often the simplest. It was born from constraints, limited time, scarce materials, and extreme conditions. Yet, that pressure created a design so pure and effective that its influence has spanned decades, continents, and even planets. It has sheltered soldiers at war, given families their first homes, protected communities from disasters, and inspired a vision for our future in space. It's more than just a building. It's a testament to human ingenuity. What started as a temporary fix for a global war became a permanent blueprint for building a safer, more resilient world. So the next time you see that iconic curved roof, remember the incredible journey it represents. Thanks for watching. If you found this story as fascinating as I do, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell so you don't miss our next exploration into the hidden histories that shape our world. See you next time.